check out these patterns. If you take the square numbers, and I'm including the zeroth term, and we look at the differences between them, or how much they grow, we get the odd numbers. And then if we look at the differences of that row, we get just twos. What would happen if we take cubes instead of squares? Well, looking at the cubes, the differences between them might seem a little more random, but if we take the differences between those and then the differences between those, we get all sixes. And if we did fourth powers instead of third or second powers, it would take four steps of differences to get down to a single constant number, which would be 24. Leave a comment if you can figure out the pattern as to what number would be down there after five steps if we did fifth powers.